Hi, welcome to a Pepper Prime unboxing video of the Aspara Nature Hydroponics Smart Grower. My name's Andy, and today I'm going to show you what's inside the box and how to set it up. Let's get started. So after opening up the box, inside you're going to find another white box. So this is what the white box looks like out of its packaging, just a standard box, and we're going to open it up as well. So after opening the box, you're going to see some packaging, and the first thing you're going to get is the manual, box of contents. Uh, holding the other parts of the hydroponic grower. And then the main body of the hydroponic grower left inside. So after removing all the different packaging, you're left with this uh, white section of the hydroponic smart grower. What we're going to do now is we're going to go into the box content and show you the different parts that come with it. First one up is the scenting probe. Next up, we've got a small little white box and inside here, We've got the cables and the adapter. Next up, we've got the germination domes and grow hole covers. We've next got the grow tray. I'm just gonna open that up to, sh to show you guys. This is what the grow tray looks like. And finally, inside this box, we have the tank, which is going to hold the water and your nutrients, looks like this. Okay, now that we've got all the parts laid out, we're going to start the assembling process. First things first, we're going to take the sensing probe and we're going to add it into the tank, just like this. After you added three liters of water, insert it into this position here, slide it in. There you go. Next up, we've got the grow tray. As you can see in the grow tray, we've got 16 different holes for you to grow up to 16 plants. You don't have to use all 16 holes at once, you can just use a couple of them and use the germination domes or the grow hole covers to cover the rest. We're going to take a look inside the grow tray. Outside. Now, inside the grow tray, you're going to see a connector. This whole section is a connector. You've got a sponge which filters out the water as it recycles the water in the system and you've got three pins which are three different sensors. So we're just going to put this back onto, onto the tray and we're going to place it here. Okay, now we're nearly assembled. The last part for the assembly process is to plug in the adapter. Now, I'm just going to take it out of the packaging. This part connects into here. And then this part goes to the back of the hydroponic grower, and I'll show you exactly where it is. You'll find a hole right here. Put this into the socket and you're done. Now that the machine's all ready to start planting, I want to tell you that there's actually two methods in planting. The first one that we're going to be talking about will be manual mode, where it's going to be offline and all done on the machine. The second method will be to connect it to your mobile phone via an app. So after plugging in the Aspara Hydroponic Smart Grower and turning on the power, you'll be greeted with a text saying Aspara on the touch panel here. To get things started, press any one of these four buttons, this one for example, and you'll be greeted with your first question. Pair with app, we're going to start off by showing you how to use the hydroponic grow without an app, so we're going to say no here. Next, you want to set your clock. This button here is just to set the hours, the minutes, and once you've set your clock to the time zone you're in, just click on next. Now for the sunrise, you want to set in a time for when you want the machine to start the lights so the plants can start growing. You do not have an option for sunset because that will be automatically turned off after 14 hours. So next up, you want to add water to the tank, up to 3 litres of water. Afterwards, you want to set in the grow tray and put it into position like so. And finally, it will ask you if you're ready to start planting, in which yes, we are. 
the whole machine set up, we're ready to start planting. With each of these hydroponic growers, you're given two boxes of the Aspara seed kit, and each one has eight different capsules, as you can see in here. You're gonna take however many capsules you want out of the box, and I've just taken this one here, a red lettuce one for example. You want to peel them off, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna leave it on. After you peel them off, we're gonna put it into the holes, like so. So now that you've put in however many capsules you want to grow, if you have some holes remaining, what's important is you take these grow hole covers and you cover up the holes. And I'm just gonna cover up a few here just, show, just to show you. Now, this is an important step because you don't want insects to go into the water and contaminate it. Once you've got the empty holes covered, you wanna take a germination dome and place it on top of your open capsule like so. Now the purpose of the, de the germination dome is to keep the humidity trapped in there so that the conditions for the sprouting are optimal. Next up, you're gonna go and click on one of the buttons, any buttons will do, here. And we're gonna go into the third one, which is the letter A, go into there. And what you have here is you're gonna choose a different grow program. To find out which grow program you have, you take your seed kits and you look on the cover here, which says program A. So after you confirm the program that you need to use on the box, you can just select it here. In this case, we're going to use program A. And once you go, you select the program A, you go back here, and you know it's program A because there's an A button here. Just to show you, we can go back, go to program B, go to main menu, it's B. Next up, I'm gonna show you the light function. Right now, we're in auto mode. You don't have to worry or do anything here because it's all pre-programmed in the program settings. In the next one, we've got a special function here. Light mode is white, and what this mode is for is to take those Instagram photos, those Facebook photos, or videos to share with your friends and groups. Oops, go back here. And the last one is just to turn off the lights for whatever reason. And now we'll go back to auto. Now there's one other feature I want to introduce here. In this light mode here, we can press it once more and it goes into dim. Now, when will you use a dim light mode will be when perhaps you've gone on holiday and you don't want your plants to grow so quickly. You want to time it right so that you come back. That's when you use dim mode. Okay, so the next up on the main screen here, we've got this middle one here. Now these settings are for manual. So it, your first one is germination mode. Now, when you use germination mode, you might want to be planting seeds from different programs or your own seeds to experiment with. That's when you want to use a germination mode. The next one in will be planter mode. And as you can see, once I click on it, the light becomes in more intense. And this is when the plants have already uh, sprouted out and you want some um, extra quick growth. This is the ideal time to be running the planting mode. Finally, the last option on here is harvest mode whether you're finished planting or not. And of course you say yes, planting finished, and you're ready to harvest. So after you've finished harvesting your plants, you're gonna be presented with new options once you press the buttons again. Now we're gonna go through them one by one. The first one here, if you click into it, it's gonna say start planting again. And we're gonna click on yes. And basically the whole process is gonna begin again where you have to add water and plant the seed capsules. Now the second part in the new uh, menu you're gonna see this one, and it's to add device with mobile app. We'll come back to this one later. Next one up is for cleaning. Now, we're not gonna say yes, but ideally the machine can clean itself once you've put water and some washing solution inside. And the last one on the new menu here is the clock, where you can just set the clock again, set the sunrise again, confirm that, and you're good to go once you start planting. So I mentioned before that there's two methods to use the Aspara Hydroponics Smart Grower. The first one we introduced to you is the manual method. The second method is to pair it up with your mobile phone. To do this, you want to click on one of the buttons and you want to pair with app and say yes. Once, you go into, once you've downloaded the Aspara app from the App Store or the Play Store, you want to open it up and you click on the skip button. For the purpose of this video, we're not going to create an account. Make sure you want to skip, yes. You want to add a device set up a new device and follow the instructions on the screen. What you want to do next is go to your Wi-Fi and look for the Aspara network. And once you've connected to the network, go back to the app and this screen will load up. What you want to do here is locate the Wi-Fi at your home or workplace 
and input the password. What you're doing now is you're linking, you're guiding the hydroponic grower to link to the Wi-Fi. Input the password. Now you can name your Asparo, you can change this later, but for the purpose of this video, we're just going to call it me. Now during the setup stage, you might notice the connect connected to Wi-Fi on the sensor screen on the hydroponic grower. Shortly afterwards, you'll see that it says it's done pairing. And your hydroponic smart grow is paired with your mobile phone device. You want to click on plant. And I'll instruct you to add up to three liters of water to the tank and give you some short instructions on how to plant your seeds. If you want to say got it. And now you want to select which vegetables you're going to start growing. For the purpose of this video, we choose Letter Selected. Once you've selected it, click on Next on the top right. And you can start planting. So finally, after 18 days, you can see that our produce have grown quite nice. You can see that our lettuce and kale are quite in the middle stages of growth. And in just about one and a half weeks or so later, they'll be fully grown. And as you can see here, our dragon fruit seeds have sprouted out quite nicely. These are not your typical seeds that you would grow in a hydroponic grower. However, since they've grown so nicely, we are eager to see how far we can continue growing them in the hydroponic garden before transporting them outside.